to be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better I hope you're well so I am here back for a little grocery haul I'm sorry I've been a bit absent um, my computer's been playing up so much and I'm really hoping if you see this then it's it's all right it's working I've just had problems with my storage I lost loads of footage from last week which I was really angry about um, but anyway I spent 98 pounds just over 98 pounds I don't know how I managed that because I went in with like a list of just you know just basic condiments and topping up like laundry stuff and washing stuff and then I realized that actually I do need quite a bit and I didn't actually go shopping last week would you believe that I think I only nipped in for like milk you know just like basics last week and spent the bare minimum so yeah this you know was worth a shop actually and it was lovely and quiet so yeah just over 98 pounds and i will show you what i got for our family of five this doesn't include any meat because we pretty much get our own meat um from the farm and now we have the shop we actually locate free range chicken into the shop and i just literally nitpick bits from there which is perfect okay so starting over here i picked up these fresh chicken drumsticks i'm actually going to take these to work to the shop tomorrow, me and Graham will probably nibble on those. Um, they were kind of on like a special deal. So I got those. I also got some roast chicken breasts. These are just the little slices, honey roast, ham. And I also always, I always get the, um, just the normal cooked ham as well. Great for lunches, wraps, got some thins, bagels, whatever. I've got some bits in the freezer. So um, yeah, and obviously sometimes we throw this on a pizza as well. So I've got some different hams, I've got some charcoal chicken slices. I actually really like these. I'm probably gonna throw this with a bit of salad in one of the sandwich thins for lunch today. I got some coleslaw as well. I feel like the next week looks so good. The weather looks so good, like I'm all over the barbecues. So I feel like coleslaw is one of those things that Graham pretty much is the main person that eats that. Um, I've got some sandwich thins, the brown ones, and then I got the mini wraps and the bigger wraps. Love those. I've been having the odd eggy wrap again. And again, the kids take these to school. I really fancy the sliced fruit loaf. This is one of my favorite things, just with like toasted with a little bit of butter. Honestly, it's so delicious. If you love raisins, you will love that. It's only like 65p as well. Um, I've got some mild pepperoni for homemade pizza on Friday. I've got two lots of tender stem broccoli, sliced curly kale, these are like, honestly, my favourite potatoes ever, these Alexandra salad potatoes. I love roasting them, cut them in half and do wedges. You can just boil them as is, add loads of butter at the end. Delicious. They go really well um, with a barbecue. Sometimes I boil them and then make my own like potato salad. So add mayo and you can add spring onion and sweet corn. Delicious. Tastes amazing cold as well. The whole family love it. So, yeah, I'm well into these potatoes. I'm hoping to grow some this year as well. Fingers crossed. Saves me buying so many bags all the time. I've um, got a pack of carrots. i got some mozzarella for our pizza. And then I also got some mature grated, some sliced as well. You know, I just throw them into different things. Um, and then I've got some puff pastry. I made some pizza pinwheels. Violet went to a SATS party because they'd finished their SATS over the, on, like last week. So on the weekend, we went to a SATS party. Um, oh, I forgot one thing, actually. I was going to get some more marshmallows because I made some Rice Krispie cakes for that party and some pizza pinwheels. So I've got some more puff pastry. Um, I've got some jellies because the boys love those as well as these dairy milk buttons. And they love the Pots of Joy as well quite good value at Lidl and then I got the high protein chocolate puddings for myself I have one of these usually of an evening 
And then I also got the yogurts as well, blueberry and raspberry. I think I have strawberry already in the fridge. Got some cheese dip with breadsticks. Miles loves these. When he's at home with me, we take him to the shop. Um, I've got some little fun size apples. Alistair usually takes an apple and a banana to school every day. My golden delicious apples. And then I got some green beans because I've used, I went to Costco. I don't know if you saw my little mini Costco video, but um, we've already used up the green beans and they were so nice, honestly, so good. So I got some more, got some piccolo tomatoes, which are my absolute fave. I have a bazillion tomato plants. I'm not joking. I think I've overdid it because I've got quite a lot still kind of growing. Um, I've planted a couple out, but I think I'm going to be inundated with different tomatoes this year. Got some chestnut mushrooms for a steak and mushroom and chip night. Got blueberries. I'm loving the blueberries lately. Um, mixed seedless grapes. I love the fact they were black grapes because I love the black grape. They are so nice. Um, and I've got two lots of bananas, some green ones and some nearly ripe ones. Um, some caramel wafer bars and some dark chocolate digestives. Miles always requests those. I did get him some pull-up pants for night time, although he literally wakes up for a wee now. This is kind of, yeah, we're, I, this could be potentially the last pack I buy now, so I don't think he really needs it. But um, it's always a safety thing, isn't it, in the beginning, just in case they wet the bed. Um, I got Graham a baguette for lunch today, and then I got two brownies and two muffins. So they can, the kids can decide which they want for pudding after dinner so this is the bits that i kind of ran out of so we've got ketchup basically alistair has that i've uh, got mayo me and violet love that runny honey it's great for recipes but also I throw that in porridge or whatever My, violet loves porridge um graham requested some maple syrup because we've actually run out and i forgot to pick up some from costco so um i got this one looks really good and then I also got some vanilla for baking, some hazelnut spread. We were out of that. Some tomato puree for when I do my homemade pizzas. And then I've got two of the hazelnut milk chocolates. Me and Graham love this of an evening just for a treat. As you can see, it's a nice thin bar. It's not overly heavy. Um, so yeah, got two pack, two of those. They're only 69p each as well. Got Graham some more shower gel he just needs some so i just picked up some cheap stuff um biodegradable sensitive wipes and then the toilet wipes as well um i also got plain flour self-raising flour for baking some swing bin liners sometimes we just use those and then i've got some multi-purpose surface wipes um sometimes because with the dog and everything i just find with the kids running in that back door if there's any spillages i just getting a couple of wipes just wiping it over just so handy i've got so much hard floor now it's just super handy especially in the bathrooms like around the toilet seat miles misses occasionally um pistachios these were actually on a 10 or 15 percent off on the app so i've got those brazil nuts i've been making brazil nut milk honestly so good i get two two lots so two liters out of this so good and actually i threw the nuts once it's all ground up i actually threw them into double chocolate chip muffins which everybody loved it made them so moist and delicious so i've got those again some mini chew bones and dental sticks for the dogs and then these little biscuit rolls as well um i was sniffing all of the dousy stuff do see whatever you want to call it these are only 135 a bottle which i think is really good these ones just smell so good the lily of the valley and the vanilla and coconut there was also a pink one as well like a floral scent but i thought i'd just get those two for this week um they will last me a couple of weeks and then i've got some non-bio gel as well some bleach i needed some rapeseed oil because i have literally run out and i usually get it from aldi actually but i realized that they did it in Lidl as well, which is perfect. Got some dishwasher capsules, $3.99 for those. How many did you get in there? 37. They do such a good job. So yeah, that is pretty much my Lidl grocery haul for this week, 98 pounds, which I think is pretty good. I mean, there, we are a family of five. This is gonna last us quite a while. Sometimes it's just the, the fresh bits that we top up on. Um, so, yeah, 
So as I mentioned, the weather is so, so good this week. We're gonna pull out the barbecue. So we've got, uh, so we had a, when was it? Not last weekend, but the weekend before, the bank, one of the bank holiday Mondays had family over and we had a barbecue, but we had so many rolls left over. So I've put them all in the freezer. So when Gray makes the sausages on Thursday, um, or I just, sometimes I just pull out the sausages from, you know, if I go down the shop or whatever, or even from the freezer, gonna do some like barbecue food burgers, hot dogs, um, with some like potato salads and salady bits, picky bits, the kids love the picky stuff. We're gonna have steak night with um, wedges, chips and mushrooms and whatever, some green beans or some probably broccoli actually. Um, I'm gonna do carbonara tonight. You may have seen I, was it last week? I think it was last week. I made spaghetti for the first time. Honestly, I was just mind blown at how easy it was. So I've already made the dough. Um, I made that last night, so I'm gonna do carbonara tonight. I've already got the bacon lardons, broccoli goes in it. It's the Tesco recipe one that I use all the time. The kids help me, it's super easy. And I always have the ingredients, which is always quite handy. So broccoli and bacon carbonara tonight. We'll do homemade pizza for Friday. We'll do a steak night, barbecues and so no, I feel like I need some sort of chicken in there. We have, um, last night we had, Graham does these like Hunter's chicken and garlic Kievs. They're basically just like chicken breast cut open with cheese or garlic butter and they wrap some bacon and whatever. Um, so we had those last night and they were so good. So potentially I might nick a few from the shop and we could have something like that or throw them on the barbecue or chicken wings or something. We do a lot of like marinated stuff. Um, but yeah, so that is my meal plan for the week. I'm always kind of winging it. It just depends on the day. But obviously, it's quite staple, basic stuff. Nothing is going to take too long. Last week, I did shepherd's pie. I did meatballs with spaghetti. Um, I think we had steak night and pizza night. I did venison steak, actually. And I had a video on it. And I'm just so annoyed because I did a few different videos. And I lost all the footage because I want to start doing some meals again because I know that's really helpful and actually I enjoy doing it as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I did last week. I did, it was a bit cold last week, wasn't it? I felt like I needed like a pie and, <laughs> um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're well and hopefully if you see this video, it means that my computer is hopefully sorted um, and you'll be seeing a bit more. And, and I'm currently, filming a weekly vlog as well, which I thought I would just switch up instead of the day in a life so you can see my full week because routine has changed anyway. But um, yeah, I hope you're all well, everybody, and I will see you in my next one.